Hi there Aries and this is your February 2020 love monthly forecast reading with me Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com Now before anything else please do know that this is a general reading so it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every Aries out there so just keep that in mind and again if you do want to know something very specific that is really for you the only way to do that is to have a private consultation with your trusted reader or with me of course and you can do that by booking a session with me for my website in the stars by chrissy.com or like some other readers and other people do they do send me a private message on my instagram account which is instagram.com slash readings by crazy some of you guys book sessions with me through instagram i really did, don't know that it was a thing but apparently some some clients um goes through my instagram for whatever reason but um yeah you can do that if you wish and you can also follow me there if you like as well so um yeah without any further ado let's check in what we have for aries okay so this is actually a pretty wonderful energy because it is that point where in i kind of feel that a lot of Aries people is about to break out their shell like they are about to change something in their life change something in their relationships and in love as well so it could be like something is inside of you wanting to break out like wanting to change things up so it could be an energy factor that is involved here wherein you have that adrenaline adrenaline rush inside of you like you have that icky factor inside of you that you want to change things up and also there is just something in your heart that is speaking to you or it could be that you know something within your soul is like telling you to to do something about it do something about it so uh, there is that kind of energy that i'm picking up here we do have the star and the death card with these first two cards along with the page of pentacles and the two of cups which is the focal point of energy and focus obviously this is about a relationship this is about matters of the heart what you are truly feeling the things that are in your mind at this time and what you want to experience as a whole we are being shown here that in your past you do have this ten of wands and the nine of wands all together so it shows here that in your past something maybe has happened in your love life which has made you felt stuck it made you felt unable to do anything unable to decide anything it's it feels like you know a point wherein i don't know what to do about this relationship i don't know what to do about this scenario i want to run away or maybe this is suffocating i don't want this relationship there is something heavy which has transpired in your love life and relationship there was something that has left you unsettled there's a lot of questions in your mind yet at the same time there are no answers as well it's just that point wherein you don't know how to deal with it you don't want to deal with it, it and it kind of feels like everything is a burden to you there is that form of energy that we're getting there at the same level we are seeing a lot of regrets being shown here and maybe some form of karma is involved as well i cannot remove the fact that there is a past energy here because we do have the five of cups as the crowning energy of this reading 
It's at the very top of the deck, along with the Wheel of Fortune. So maybe you are looking back into something. There is something that you are reminiscing. There is something you wanted to reconcile with. Well, maybe not entirely reconcile with, but you are definitely thinking something that has not worked out. Something that slipped away from you. So there is that type of energy. And I kind of feel that maybe if you were not ready to handle that before, you are at the point of thinking that maybe I can do it this time around. There is that energy and focus wherein I kind of feel that you are wanting to confront the, this relationship which you were not able to confront before. Or there's just a lot of desires of wanting wanting to renew a relationship maybe that is just a, a small possibility but it is very possible as well because we do have the wheel of fortune and the death card over here the death card are always about endings and beginnings and when with the two of cups we can assume that this could be a relationship that has already ended or maybe you are thinking of wanting to renew this relationship because you still have regrets with what has happened in that relationship because maybe you were not ready maybe you've just gone a little bit selfish you did not try to understand the other person there's a lot of factors that could be in play here but we are seeing here that the energy of wanting to make an effort wanting to fight obstacles wanting to make a connection with someone is becoming strong here and it's very funny that 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 we have this tar card uh, from lenormand and the whip because the whip is always a form of aggression but at the same time it is a repeating cycle like you know when someone whips something they need to do it rep repetitively so maybe making that connection over again taking an action all over again over something and the star is about maybe you know maybe they are far away from you there is some form of distance between you and this person maybe you're wanting to reach for that person because we do have the world card in the future so maybe you are wanting to connect with this person again maybe through the internet through social media through technology those kinds of things and we do have mercury retrograde which is about to transpire um in the next few days so you know the past the memories of the past is coming in strongly and also we do have the moon in taurus in the ninth house over here so and the ninth house always talks about what we truly feel in a long-term level you know this is our deepest desires and goals in life and also the ninth house has to do with travel and distance like i mentioned earlier so this could be you know you're wanting you're thinking about someone who is not in your life right now maybe they are far from you and you wanted to make a connection right there so we are being shown here that you might initiate something you might take action to contact someone or you know you will find yourself having a drive to do something to change something up because you are going to be overwhelmed by thoughts about that person the, we do have the nine of swords and the magician card all together and maybe this could be an action from fear 
I just kind of feel that you know the emotions is going to overwhelm you, whether you believe that or not. I kind of feel that there is going to be some form of longing inside of you, and that desire to change, to initiate something, the desire to making things happen is really becoming strong for you. So there's a lot of wishes here. You want to feel good. You want to feel better. That is really what you want. And I kind of feel that for many of you, maybe you are just going to act upon your intuition. We do have the Queen of Cups and the Moon all together at, as the outcome card. And this could also be a point wherein, for some of you, you will meet someone or you'll see someone. from a long time or maybe you are going to make a connection with this person you are going to start dreaming about them and then that might be a trigger point to make a connection right right there it could be a chance to resolve things there is something about your intuition at this time like something inside of you is telling you to go with your heart, to follow your heart. And regardless of what may have happened in the past, at the end of the day, your heart will speak for itself. And it will take action as well. So again, this could be something that you initiate, okay? So it is also possible that the other person will make an action but from how the reading goes i kind of feel the initiation will be coming from you so you could be a man or a woman but you are the one who is going to make the start you are going to initiate something not the other way around and for some of you guys not for everyone I kind of feel that you are not going to regret it and you might end up telling yourself that I did the right thing because I followed my own intuition it has led me in in this path there is also a possibility that you know to correct something in the past you might need to confront something wherein some form of harsh words might be it inter exchange something like that which can be stressful in its own way, but I kind of feel that for many of you, you are willing to cross that road because you come into a conclusion that it is worth it, that this person is still some that, so, something that you want to be with, someone that you really still want to be with, your heart is longing for that person so there is really a sense of longing here if this is not someone from the past then this could be just a scenario wherein you are not very much happy with your current situation in terms of love and again there's a lot of regret and a lot of you know feeling down and we are seeing here that at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it, the result is still the same. You are still going to take action over something which changes things for you, which might lead you to someone who may be a soulmate, who can un really understand you on a deeper level. In some form of way, you are going to fight your own fears your own anxiety to find a solution into things so so the idea here is that you are going to change something up in your life and in terms of your love life as well and you will gain some form of confidence as a result because your past is not really the best maybe things have been okay I just kind of feel that there's a lot of emotional unsatisfaction energy 
and right now you are at the point wherein you want to feel good you want to feel better and you want to take actions which you will not regret you want to take action that will make you happier as well so listen to your own intuition you know regardless of what situation you might be going through at this time however do know that a return of a lover maybe your return to someone is also possible at this time and it could be a very wonderful mercury retrograde kind of thing for many of you because you are able to really talk to that person on one-on-one -on -one and be able to express your own truth to them one way or another so um yeah the biggest factor here is to really follow in your intuition do not think about impulsiveness at this time though that is also possible but right now the most important thing is for you to be your own person because a lot of you guys have been feeling a lot of uncertainty a lot of fears and that is holding you back and it, it feels like you're not acting to what you truly are i mean you are aries you are born to be impulsive you're born to act you're born to pursue you're born to not be afraid of things but with this reading it is being shown here that you know you have started to hesitate on things and you have started to fear a lot of things and you ended up not being an aries you ended up not being who you truly are which has caused you a lot of stagnancy in your life as a result so i kind of feel that you know this is a point where and even though we do have mercury retrograde i want to tell you guys to just do and push through whatever you want to do if you want to talk to someone go ahead and do it don't think about mercury retrograde and any mishaps this can do for you because with mercury retrograde when it comes to fixing things when it comes to trying to resolve something it is actually the best time to do them when mercury is retrograde it is the best time to resolve something to clear something out it's not the best for new ventures though but whenever we talk about old stuff and whenever we talk about trying to make ends meet trying to apologize to someone trying to make things right again this is really the best time that you can ask for so right now what is very important for you guys is to follow your heart and believe what you feel as at the same time this is not the time for doubts because the reading is telling us to go and push forward and you can change things you can make things right again so um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me i do hope that some of you might find this time very insightful and i hope that this reading has helped one or two of you guys in your journey for february and um yeah thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i'll see you guys again next month